Means to twist. twist until you twist it to where you want it to say what you want to hear and not what it really says. And it means to pervert. All those are right out of Strong's on these on this word rest where it's used in the Bible. You see, when you believe wrong, you're going to act wrong. Faith works. Faith always works. Faith is a law, and it works. But if our faith is in the wrong thing. <laughs> then trouble prevails when we could have had victory. That's a sad thought. We could have had victory all along, but because we twisted, rest, perverted, stretched out the Word of God, because maybe the crowd was doing it, and then we end up having trouble instead of victory. My, my, my. Listen, men, as long as there are men on the earth, there will be mistakes. There just are. But the Word is our guide, interpreted by the unction of the Holy Ghost to keep us on track. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, well, in case you don't, look in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. I just want to show it to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Second Peter chapter one verse twenty says, "Knowing this first, say first, first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation." Okay, you see that? It means there are no lone rangers. There are no new revelations. What's out there is already out there. There are denominations built. I don't know if you call them denominations. Say cult. Built. Yeah. I'm not talking about all of them. I'm right. talking about in yeah, particular yeah. one of the right. right. Off of the fact that an angel appears to them and gives them another word, another book. Yeah. Yeah. Called yeah. Mormon. Yeah. Book of Moroni. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a moron. And you know, the, uh, the angel came and supposedly gave Joseph Smith this information. Yeah. And it usurps the authority of the Bible. Yeah. Well, anytime somebody tells you they got more than the Bible, they they got too much. Yeah. They're in trouble. Yeah. Alright? So, this of no private interpretation. This scripture should be a unifying belief system for everyone that's in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's been fragmented been fragmented by people following ignorance and foolishness. Second Peter chapter 2, right below this, verses 1 through 3 says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Interesting, isn't it? I thought if somebody was holding the Bible and preaching that they were fine. Well, you've got to check that out. Yes, you do. you got to check me out. Amen. We did. I'm not afraid of you keeping your Bible there in your lap and going along with me on it. Amen. I'm not even afraid of you asking me a question after the service. Amen. If you don't understand something I've set up here, you should find out. Don't, don't just go home wondering. I don't know about him. Find out the answer. That's right. But, it says there'll be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought that bought them, and bring upon themselves what? Swift destruction. The end of all these things is calamity. It's not God's fault, it's the people's fault for going away from God. In some manner, some form. That's right. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Well, I can tell you that the name it and claim it bunch that we are was very much, and still, I don't know, I don't run outside these circles too much, but was very much spoken of badly because one, one side of it is people just didn't understand what we were saying. The other side is that many of us, maybe you were included at one point, but I pray you matured, uh, at some point was correcting everybody in what they're saying and stuff. Well, people who don't know these principles, you correct them till you're blue in the face. They think you're nuts. Yes. Right. Yes. So, yep. save your breath. 
try to get them in the word of faith by the love of God first and then mold and shape them by the teaching of the word of God. But anyway, they think, well, you know, they're just, uh, they're just way out there. Hallelujah. But look at this here in verse uh, chapter 2 and verse uh, 1. It says that there's some of them that will bring in damnable heresies. What is a damnable heresy? That means a heresy, a, 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 an untrue a misconception, yep. a perceived right that's wrong, it's bad enough to damn you. Yep. That means send you to hell. That's right. Condemn you to hell. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know so much that uh, there's a lot of people that are just ending up in hell for it, but there's a lot of them that are experiencing hell on earth because of it. Right. right. I can tell you that. Yep. Yeah. And there are some that ultimately drop on off into a, you know, nowhere land, unfortunately, that uh, is not good, but um, it does happen. It happens. And we want to know these principles so that it doesn't affect our lives and our loved ones. And we can rescue those who are dropping off. Right. Right. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, we said men make mistakes, so uh, there's going to be issues, and we're going to have to... Uh, um, Stay in the Word. You're going to have to stay in the Word. It's not enough to just study the Word and get smart in the Word. You need to do that. But you've got to apply the Word too. You've got to live this Word. You've got to make the decision this Word is number one. It is the ultimate truth. And whatever this Word says is 100% right. And everything else I experience against this Word has to be wrong. Right. You've got to come there. you got to get there. Yes, and then when you get there, you made that decision to believe that way. And then you take this word and you begin to walk it out.